Boston, I guess, take us through that touchdown, the game winning play. What's, you know, what's the play called? What's your route? And, and, uh, you know, did you expect the ball to come to you there? Uh, I mean, I don't know if I can say the play call, but, uh, you know, I mean, I just checked my protection. And then after that, I got out in the space. You know, I knew uh, throughout the game we had been running, you know, short routes into the flat kind of, and uh, Peppers was coming out with me into the flat pretty much every time. And uh, on that one, you know, I just kind of set it up. And then, I, guess, I mean, he went he went to me. So that, that was cool. Steve and then John McMullen. Hey, Boston, this is another big game for you against the Giants. What is it about playing these guys that, that seems to get you going so well? I mean, I mean, it's just the next it's the next game. You know, I love playing football, so it doesn't really matter who it is. You know, um, I just like going out there and being able to contribute to the team. John and then Rob Motti. Hey, hey, Boston. Um, obviously, you guys were down 21-10. What does it mean to show that resili- resiliency and the the final five minutes to score two touchdowns. What does that do for the confidence uh, of this team? A, yeah, it just says a lot about this team. Like I said, uh, in, in past weeks, it's never been a matter of uh, want to. It's never been a matter of effort. It's never been a, a matter of fight. You know what I'm saying? It's just those little things that, you know, have caused us to fall short. So, you know, as long as we're, you know, firing on all cylinders and dialed into the little things, you know, I, I don't think there's many teams that can really stop us. You know, we just have to – Stop shooting ourselves in the foot, and uh, as we go and look back at the film, I'm sure there's you know plenty of ways that we did that. But um, the guys never stop fighting, and that's that's never going to change. Boston, what was it like in the huddle when you guys are down 11 and Carson's trying to bring you guys back? And uh, what does it say about his leadership? He, he made some throws that I'm sure he wishes he had back, but then at the end, at crunch time, he made those throws, and and you make that catch at the end. Yeah, I mean, we never we never faltered, man. Our, our our mindset, you know, we were never like panicking or frustrated or whatever. We just knew, we just always knew that you know we were gonna find a way to win this game. And Carson led us, and you know, like I said, we it was a it was a great team effort. Martin and then Ed Kratz. Hey, Boston. Like, how frustrating was it for you guys? I mean, you were. You know, you guys had, I think, four trips into the red zone and only got like three points out of it. You were down by 11. I mean, you know, what was the frustration level like at that point? Oh, well, like I said, I mean, it was it, it obviously, you know, in, in the game, there's ebbs and flows or whatever. And I wouldn't say we were necessarily frustrated. Um, you know, uh, we don't really have time to, to be frustrated in this game. So, like I said, just just. Uh, the mindset of this team has always been just continue fighting. You know, next play. You can't you can't think about, you know, the previous plays and let it affect you for the rest of the game. So we, we flush it and we just keep fighting. Add in then Mike K. Hey Boston, I jumped on late. I s I'm sorry, were you asked to take us through that catch that you made? Uh yeah, yeah. You were well let me ask you this then. It it looked like it wasn't very easy to run the ball, but Doug stayed committed to the run. I think over 20 attempts. How much does that mean to the offense to keep at it, even if it's not having success? Yeah, I mean, it was, yeah. I mean, it, uh, good defensive front. Uh, kudos to them on that. Um, you know what I'm saying? But it, it keeps them honest. So uh, it, it was good. Mike and then Chris Murray. Boston, you guys have faced a lot of adversity this season. What does Doug Peterson do on a on a you know play by play on a sideline moment uh, that keeps you guys together and not kind of questioning his play calling or what's going on in the game, et cetera? I mean, we're we're all close knit, man. We all know that it's it's never just one person's fault for anything. That's just the way that the, that's the nature of this game, and so you know we're never gonna point the finger at one person, you know, because we know we're all in this together. You know, at the end of the day, it's a W or a L, and everybody takes that L or everybody takes that W, and so we just we just as we face more adversity, we come closer together, and we gonna we gonna rock with whoever's there, no matter what. That's just that's our, that's our mo. We'll take one more here with Chris Murray. Um, Boston, can you talk about Carson's toughness tonight? I mean, he was getting hit a lot, and he just kept getting up and just kept leading you guys downfield. Yeah, he's he's a tough dude, man. Real tough dude, man. He he battles, 
uh, day in and day out, man. And it's not just in the game, man. All throughout the week, man, he's a true professional, a uh, true leader. Uh, he does what he's supposed to do, man. And so uh, his toughness is just, his toughness is wild, you know. And uh, I got a lot of respect for him. This is not the same team, really, that won the Super Bowl. There's been a lot of turnover. There's even been some turnover since last year. What is it about, what is the quality that this team has that, you guys really just don't give up. I mean, you, you rallied last week. You rallied the week before that. You obviously rallied tonight. What, what is it about you guys that stays in a game that it looks like you're going to lose? Uh, we just keep on We just keep on fighting. You know, uh, we don't worry about the past. You know, we try to stay futuristic, you know, as far as, you know, hey, it is what it is. Now, now, now what are we going to do? And so I think uh, people taking on that approach and, you know, I'm loving it because, um, you know, we, we fight to the end. But, I mean, I'm telling you, some of this stuff that's happening to us right now, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start changing, you know, because I really do uh, feel like our team is getting stronger as every week. And every week that confidence is growing. We finally pulled one uh, at the end. And, you know, uh, I mean, you know how tough it is in this league to win games. And so uh, for us to rally back uh, six minutes to go, uh, luckily with the drop that um, – uh, Evans gave us, uh, Ingram gave us, uh, you know, I, I was, you know, we, we took advantage of that opportunity. So I, I'm thankful for that. Go Rob, Marty, and then Ed Benkin. BG, obviously this doesn't compare to the strip sack of Brady in a Super Bowl, but if you guys go on to do something special this season, you getting Jones there at the end to seal the win is such a big deal, momentum changer, game changer, game sealer. How badly did you want that, and what did that do for you guys as, as you can try to build some momentum now? Well, I believe uh, what you just said, man. It's a, it's a, uh, it's gonna change our season around. I do, I do feel that. I believe that. I think that uh, every week we're gonna continue to build on uh, what we're doing, and uh, you know, next up is the Cowboys. But I do think that um, uh, it's a confidence boost for our team uh, to let us know that uh, no matter what, we still in this thing, and we we just got to keep fighting and keep believing and keep working on uh, those little things uh, that tend to sneak up on us, um, you know, in these games. So, um, yeah. Ed Banken and then Ed Kratz. Hi, Brandon. How much are the younger players learning from games like this, and how much are you and the rest of the veterans enjoying kind of getting the message across them about staying together and seeing the results from this? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really good uh, for them because they're going through a lot of adversity uh, their first years uh, with the co with COVID, you know, the stuff that we got to do for COVID, and then uh, uh, what's been happening on that field. Uh, it's only making us stronger each and every week. And, you know, uh, I feel like uh, what Coach say, we battle tested. You know, uh, you know all the things that tend to go wrong in these games, we always try to – we always find a way to rally back. Sometimes we come up short in the end. But um, things are going to start clicking for us. And I think that, uh, you know, it started with uh, the Giants tonight. It was a ugly win. But at the end of the day, a win is a win. And, you know, uh, we can continue to build off of it. We'll go Ed Kratz and then Martin Frank. Well, hey, BG, that sack was your first of the night. I mean, what is it when you get into the fourth quarter? Do you elevate your game? I mean, do you just – does the adrenaline start to flow a little bit more later into the fourth quarter? I mean, what? how do you explain being there, uh, you know, at that point in the game when, you know, throughout much of the game, I guess you, you didn't get home? Well, you know what? The first thing uh, I talked about on the sideline uh, with Jordan Malata, he had said something to me uh, that sparked me. Uh, he was like, you know, act like uh, Emerson's watching, my baby girl. You know what I'm saying? She'd be excited for me and uh, give her something to be proud of. And so uh, it was just cool that I made that play, but he said that to me before uh, I went out there. And so, um, man, I'm telling you, it's just – it's just something about the end of the games uh, with the rotation that we have. You feel stronger. You, you just can't wait because uh, you know you in a pass, a pass situation, and all you got to do is make a couple moves, get to the quarterback, hoping that he holds the ball, and he held the ball right there, went straight for the ball. Thank you, B-Doc, because uh, B-Doc uh, definitely went for the ball thinking about you, and you know instead of going just for the sack, went for the ball, and we changed the, uh, the, the, changed the whole game and ended the game with that. We have time for two more, so we'll go Martin and then Mike K. Hey, Brandon. Um, you know, there was there was a long stretch, so like in the middle of the game, where the offense, you know, couldn't convert. You know, they had a lot of trips into the red zone and, you know, came away without any points. How much pressure does that put on the defense? Um, and then do you guys, like, talk about that at all? Uh, it's not really pressure. It's just all about 
uh, just helping the, like the way we talk about it is, you know, let's go put the offense in in a, in a better position. You know, uh, they didn't they didn't get it they didn't get it done, but we gonna go we gonna go get it done. You know, and uh, the ball's coming right back, and so uh, that's that's kind of the message every time uh, things happen, sudden changes happen in the game, or you know, we didn't pick up a fourth down, um, and you know, uh, Jake missed the kick. So you know, we just had to make sure that we put ourselves in a, in a in a position, um, you know, for the for the offense to win, and so um, it's just we we talking positive all the time to each other, trying to keep the negative out, and you know despite what's going on in the game, uh, we always talk about don't let it be us on defense, and so um, with that mentality, I think uh, it's been working for us. We just gotta continue to fine tune little things, but uh, that that happens as the season goes on. Last one here with Mike, and then we'll get Carson. Hey, Brandon, I know you're not big on individual accolades, but I know you, when you signed your extension, you wanted to have three seasons of 10 sacks or more and make the Pro Bowl. Right now, you've got six sacks or seven games. That's a pretty good pace. What, what's different this year? What, what's got you uh, playing so well? Uh, I think, you know, um, just really taking on my nutrition this year, uh, more serious than I ever have. Uh, feeling good. Body's feeling really good right now. Um, I feel fast. Uh, and then with our rotation, that's helping a lot. I don't feel like I'm uh, taking on a, a lot of, you know, a lot of beating from these games, because uh, you know I got chipped a couple, a lot of times today, and you know that could wear on your body a little bit. But it's cool when you got a good rotation of guys that uh, you can count on, because uh, in that fourth quarter when you need to play, I felt like you know I felt in the first quarter, so I felt hungry and ready to go make a play, and I'm thankful that uh, they uh, in the back end, you know, took away his reads, and you know I was able to get there. Did you, did you have a view of Daniel Jones falling? Uh, you say a what? Did you get to see him falling? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I seen him fall, and uh, I seen that ball fall first before uh, before anything. But uh, you know, I was happy um, that I was able to you know make that play for the team. When you guys scored an offense to narrow the lead to five, I think it was. What was the defensive you know uh, attitude heading back on the field, knowing you had to stop him again? Yeah, um, I mean, we all huddled up, you know, Schwartz, Schwartz kind of talked to us and, you know, basically like, hey, it's going to come down to us, you know, um, getting one more stop. If we have to, getting two more stops, you know, giving the offense the ball because they, they were starting to click. And, I mean, that was that's what happened. And the end result is, you know, now we're number one um, in NFC East. John Clark and then Paul Domowicz. Hey, Jalen. Uh after the defense gave up that long touchdown drive, I think it was 97 yards, and then Carson is able to lead the offense on those two long drives. What have you seen from your quarterback these last two fourth quarters, Sunday and tonight? Um, ad adversity doesn't phase him. At the end of the day, he trusts the guys around him to make plays, and he trusts in himself as well. Um, I think the biggest thing with Carson is um, he's getting more consistent and knowing that we're going to play tight games and – um, he's like I said, he's gonna trust the guys around him. I think you are muted. Oh. Oh, can you hear me? Yep, you're good now. Oh, you all want me to repeat that? Could you? We, we lost your audio. Sorry, Jalen. Yeah, yeah, I said nothing. That, that just that he, he trusts the guys around him and he trusts in himself. You know, we've been playing tight games, and um, I mean, just knowing that the guys around him and he's our leader, that he's gonna keep doing his thing. Paul Domowich and then EJ Smith. Hey, Jalen, uh, I know you didn't see BG's strip sack, but, uh, oh, I seen you know, you, huh? I said I seen it. <laughs> I thought you'd be covering your man and uh, yeah. have your head back to Anyway, uh, I mean, you needed a big play then. You needed a big play three years ago in that Super Bowl, and, and BG seems to, to give you one when you needed one. Uh, talk about what he means to that defense. That's one of the reasons why BG is a captain on his team, a leader on his team, because he is a guy who just goes out there and does his job. He's not a guy who's trying to force plays. He lets the plays come to him, and just for some reason, he always is a guy who comes up clutch in the fourth quarter for us. We have time for two more, and we'll get Coach in here. So we'll go EJ and then Martin. Hey, Jalen, could you just walk us through the interception you made? Um, you know, what did you see on that play? What do you remember from it? Yeah, it was uh, we were, we were in kind of a bluff coverage. Um, uh, I was looking at the quarterback. I seen he gave Ingram some type of hand signal. Um, knew that, of course, you know, he was checking to him. Um, just got a really good drop in coverage. Um, I mean, he dropped the ball and, you know, just ran on the ball and, and made the interception. Go ahead, Martin. Hey, Jalen. Um, on, on Daniel Jones's 80-yard uh, run, what kind of, what was kind of like the breakdown there? What did, what did you see? 
Oh uh, man, we he he's a guy like he he's the leading rusher, man. Um kind of got a got a clue in on him. He didn't have any keeps, you know, all game and I mean they just got a a, a good call at at the right time. So I mean, you just got to tip your head off. Uh they had a good one one time for the bad guys, so